Hey, what's up everybody? This is Titan, Titans of CNC, and today we're going to prepare these KSC F160 vices from Shunk. We're going to prepare them and install them on our tombstone that we just drilled, chamfered, tapped, and created our dowel pin holes, all right? So the tombstone is ready, let's get the vices ready and then we'll install them. First thing I'm gonna do is actually install these 12 millimeter dowel pins on the bottom of the vices. I got two vices, it's two dowel pins per vise, so we got four dowel pins. All right, so I'm gonna grab one of these dowel pins right here. Now we have this little arbor press that we use in the shop. Measured the arbor table to the wood table and it was three inches. So when it got these one, two, three blocks, boom, it'll be three inches, three inches, three inches, just to keep it relatively stable and then we'll go ahead and press it in, all right? So I'm gonna take the vise. Just always making sure that it's nice and clean, making sure that everything's nice and clean. Take this guy, bring it in here, position it roughly where the arbor is gonna come down and it's gonna be over the hole. Pop this guy in there, this side. Uh, this guy over here. We just need the vise to be flat, parallel to the floor, and to the table of the arbor press. And uh, so long as it's like very close, once we start pressing, the dowel pin will actually catch the hole and actually go straight in, okay? So, we look at the dowel. We see that one side's radius, one side has a chamfer. We're gonna go chamfer down, boom. Fits nicely in there. Just touch it just a little bit, just a little bit. Nice and smooth. This is in the most stable environment. It moved a little bit, but at the end of the day, the dowel pin is in there perfectly, all right? So I'm just gonna simply lift this guy up and I'm gonna do the next one. Boom, ready to go. Now I'll, go, I'll put a little bit less force. You see it, it caught. I'm gonna drive it down. There you go. Perfect, mission complete. There's the first vise. We'll do the second vise now. All right, so let's actually put the vise together. You notice like, even though the vise is like rigid and heavy, I'm handling it very delicately, okay? And that's because this is a precision instrument. And if your vise is perfect and, and you keep everything nice and dialed, then your parts will be nice and dialed, right? So you just wanna take care of everything. That's why you always see me, I'm, I'm spraying it, I'm touching it, I'm wiping it, I'm making sure that everything stays perfect, all right? Even the dowel pins, I don't like putting the dowel pins on the ground and actually having it rock when I'm working with it. So, I use one, two, three blocks. So you have the dowel pin here, I'll just put a block here, I'll put a block here, put a block here, put a block here, and then I can literally just lift it up, not scratching it, lifting it, just nice and nice and easy. And then I can do some work on it. I can do some work on it. Always using my hands, always making sure everything's absolutely nice and smooth. No burrs, we're not grinding anything in. When we look at the ball screw and we look at all the hardware, we wanna make sure everything's nice and perfect. Everything looks all good. Now, what's really cool is there is a rhyme and a reason to how this goes in. And uh, it looks like it's fairly simple. You have these grooves and these grooves. But one thing that we have to realize is that it only goes from one side. We're gonna actually have a set screw that's gonna lock this back piece, which will be the foundation for the dead jaw. We'll lock it back here. And then our movable carrier jaw will move in this direction, all right? So let's go ahead and move it in. So we're gonna put it in. Nice and smooth. Now, one thing that I'll look is, when you look at this back piece right here, you can see a groove going through it, and you see grooves going through here. Now, when you look at the bottom, 
you can see this diameter right here and that my friends is where the set screw is actually going to go and fit in there okay so the set screw will go through this hole and set in place here this groove needs to be in alignment with this guy and then this is the actual back jaw okay so this guy will actually sit on here through this groove in relation to this one and this one so we can take this little guy chop it down there nice little stop for the carrier jaw so it doesn't continue to go through it'll stop right there on that bolt last thing i'm going to do is i'm going to get this guy aligned now I'm simply going to move the entire assembly back. Nice. Now, when it's in here, we can see that this back side is gonna stay put, and then the front, if this stays, will actually do all the movement, okay? And then this guy will actually make some slight adjustments also, all right? And that's the mechanics of it. So before I put the set screw in, which will be right here, okay, now I just bottomed out with the set screw. I'm gonna bring it back a little bit. I'm gonna take this guy right here, make sure there's no dust, nothing, everything's good. This dowel pin actually fits right in here. I'm gonna put this guy right on here boom that's beautiful right there you, you heard that clank it just dropped right in so now I know that the bottom base is in perfect position so now I'm simply going to raise it up without touching it without banging it I'm just simply going to come down and I'm going to tighten it and there you go. It doesn't need to be crazy tight. You're basically just positioning it so that this guy can't go anywhere. All right, so once the dowel pin is locked and loaded, we basically can flip these jaws whichever way we want, locking this guy right here, right into this channel, straight in. Boom or boom. In this case, we're gonna go in this direction, so we're just gonna bring it down get it centered so we can get the dial pin to engage there it goes nice and solid already and then we're just going to take these guys m16 bolts two of them drop them right inside super stout i'll just get them nice and snug right now so everything's locked in position and then once i get it up on the tombstone lock solid then i'll wrench down on it to the torque spec all right next thing we're going to do again keeping everything nice and smooth nice and perfect everything's absolutely beautiful take this carrier drop it straight down locks in place no wiggle a couple m16 bolts All right, so the vise is assembled. I'm gonna do the next vise, and then we're gonna take both vices. I'm gonna get them up on the tombstone, and then I'm gonna lock everything down. So this guy sits right in here. This guy fits right in there. All right, so we're ready to put the vices on. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put the vice in place. And Jeff's gonna bolt them in. These are actually the 12 millimeter threads, so two, four, six, eight and then right here and here those are for the dowel pins that we just installed so the dowel pins will position it and then we'll put the bolts in position bolts boom uh, 
So as you can see on this guy, we actually took the back dead jaw, flipped it 180, so that we could take these eye bolts and thread them right into the other side since you have these threads right here. So uh, this allows us to just go ahead and grab it, boom, we're not wasting our backs or anything, nice and smooth. Right there, right there. So the dowel pins just locked in place. It's nice and uh, smooth. Just absolute precision. So just a little bit of my pressure right there. It's nice and flat. Let Jeff come in. Pop that guy in. So basically, I'm looking at these holes right here and aligning them with my eyes. Okay, go down, okay, right there. There we go, there we go, that's a snap right there. That's called precision right there. Now one thing that I'll add is that uh, when you look at a horizontal, the other horizontal that we had, uh, we had a cluster tower. So basically we tightened it from the top, okay? Those are double jaws and those are double vices moving to the center. Um, this particular one, we drew it up both ways and decided to actually open and close the vise from the bottom and have the hard jaw up top. And that allowed us to have our material and our part center of the tombstone and gave us a lot of room for our spindle down here at the bottom of the tombstone. So opening and closing from the bottom is actually on purpose, which allows us to have our part in the center of the tombstone, nice and rigid, away from the bottom, and it's clean, okay? Oh.